carrying on down the road. Ah, thank you, my love. <laughs> those must be those famous driving skills you told me about, eh? <laughs> if I ever need a getaway driver, you've got the job. You'd better have a good explanation for all this. Is that, is that a Camaro? Yeah, 69. Wow, where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished stalling? Can you please tell me what the hell is going on? <sighs> I need to come up with a lot of money in three days. What? Uh, have you ever heard of the Tadakul? Should I have? They've been around Barcelona a long time. They're sort of like a, a group that helps each other with, with special favors and business deals. In America, we call that organized crime. Oh, shit. You owe the local mob money? Look, when we met, I was completely honest with you about some of my business dealings, some of which might be considered uh, extra legal. You said you were a provider of information. Look, I point things out to people, and if they're useful, I, I get paid. So I provided the Tadakul with some information, and that info, through no fault of my own, turned out to be slightly out of date. And now they want me to pay them for the expenses lost. Exactly how much in expenses? Yeah. How much? A hundred thousand. That is insane. Well, the Tadakul disagrees. Damn it, Sebastian. How could you let yourself get involved with people like that? Hey, you're not from around here. They're hard to avoid. They have their fingers in everything. Don't you have any savings? A secret stash of unmarked bills somewhere? Ay, come on, V. You know my garage is barely hanging on. That's why you took pity on me, sending me that car. Do you think I'm a criminal? Whoa, who's a criminal? Well, you may as well tell them. Tell me what? We need a way of making a lot of money in a hurry. So it is true. You owe the Moroccan mob money. The guys at the garage like to talk. Hey, don't worry. I have a solution, but you're not gonna like it. There's a big street race tomorrow night. We are not getting involved with Mauricio. First prize is always some heavily modified ride. If you win, then boom, you've got the money to repay the gangsters. Well, a, a decent part of it. No way. There has to be some other way. Sebastian can handle it. When you're drowning and someone offers you a life preserver, you don't say, there has to be some other way. You can't reason with them? Oh, these are not people that listen to reason. I hate to say it, but they're right. I either race or I turn myself into the police, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Well, if you're gonna stand any chance of winning in that import of yours, it's gonna need a tune-up. So how far are you taking these? Like I said, you'd be better off with me doing the work right here. I can handle it. Well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Hmm. Well, we'll be extremely careful then. Okay, let's get this race fuel back to the house. We've got all day to work on the car before the race tonight. When was the last time you ran it? Uh, that track day we did at Catalonia? Ah, uh, okay, so new tires then new fluids, and I've got some pads you can take. Thanks, V. I, I know you thought I was crazy there for a minute, and 
I'm so sorry about this. I know how you feel about street racing. But Cam is right. This could solve my problem. Even if you do not agree with it. Get out of the way! Oh, watch out for this guy. He's not looking where he's going. Uh, are you and Cam okay? We're just different. That's all. Cam's always looking to the future, always finding an angle, hoping for something better. I'm always wishing I could turn back time. And I know that makes me seem hesitant sometimes, but I need you to know that I'm just looking out for you. That's all. I just want you to be safe. Just what we need, an accident. Looks like there was a police chase. I heard they've been trying to crack down on the street racing scene. We have to be careful tonight. That's the last thing we need. Cam will keep an ear out on the scanners, though. And they'll give us a heads up if the cops are caught in the race. Wow, looks like someone messed up. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, I want you to have the best shot possible. Because I love you. I love you too. Okay, I'm trying not to kill us in a blaze of glory now. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost say these guys were out to deliberately kill us. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it that I could. Oh, no. I shouldn't have played into that paranoia of yours. We're almost home, thank God, though. See, I was right. Mauricio's put up his BMW E30 as first prize, the vampire car. With all those mods, that's gotta be worth 50, maybe 60 grand. That puts a serious dent in Sebastian's tab. Mauricio was also asking about you. He was all like, how come your friend never comes around anymore? I miss her. Tell her I want to see her. Whatever. He likes himself too much to like anybody else. I knew you'd come around someday. In your dreams, I'm here to support a friend. I think you miss the life. I think you miss Miami. Heard you used to roll with Suki and her crew. You heard wrong. There's my friend. See you around, Mauricio. Just answer me one thing. I really have to go. If you truly given up on the streets, how come you brought that sweet ride of yours? I'm willing to go double or nothing. Two cars, twice the price. But only if I see you on the starting line. Holy crap. You could win this and you know it. And double means Sebastian's debt would be completely wiped out. Did you forget everything we went through back in Miami? 
No, I didn't. I just thought you might want to repay one life by saving another. What's going on? Why do I feel like I just missed something important? Vienna's going to race too. No, 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 no. You told me after what happened back home you would never race again. I changed my mind. When we first met, you didn't even tell me you used to race. I thought you were just a, a cool chick who was into cars. So what, I'm not cool anymore? Oh, I, I, I cannot let you do this. Mauricio's put a double or nothing offer on the table. It could wipe out your debt completely. I'm not worth you going back on your vow. Why don't you let me decide what you're worth? It's a relay race, so we're partners in this. We'll do this together. It's me. Something's come up with one of our drivers. Tell your boss this could be a very good thing for him. Come on, come on, let's go! You seem to be out here racing, Mr. Miro. Should you not be at home gathering our money? Whoa, whoa. You can't collect from a dead man. You'd be surprised what we can collect from the dead, my friend. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, can't you see that I am doing this to pay you back? By winning Mauricio's car? Interesting idea. But Mauricio is one of us. His car, his house, his everything belongs to us. You are trying to win something that is already ours. That's between you and Mauricio. We were about to win this race fair and square. No, V, stay out of this. I'm sorry. I do not recall giving you permission to speak. You now have 48 hours to reimburse us, Mr. Miru. Or would you like me to pursue your debt with her? So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description. So you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.